Hey everyone, Jacques Hopkins here, creator of Piano21days.com. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the number one mistake I see beginners make on the piano and how you can avoid it. You see, the very first thing to learn when you're learning how to play piano is simply the names of each key. And there really are only 12 keys you need to learn because each section of 12 keys just repeats itself over and over again on the piano. And the big mistake that I see over and over again is that people typically don't truly learn the names of the keys before they move on to the next topic. They usually do learn where the C key is and then they can find everything else from there, but they don't truly learn the actual keys on their own. Uh, yeah, I can play a G sharp. Uh, let's see, C, D, E, F, G, sharp. There we go. Okay, let's compare this to the days of the week. Could you imagine if I asked you to tell me, for example, about uh, Wednesday, and you didn't know anything about Wednesday unless you started counting from Sunday? Okay, let's see, Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, it's the fourth day of the week. It's right after uh, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, it's right before Thursday. No, that would just be silly. Without much thought about it, you know that Wednesday is, is the middle weekday. It comes right after Tuesday, it comes before Thursday. You don't need to start counting at Sunday or Monday to figure out what the heck Wednesday is or where it falls within the week. If you're just starting out on the piano or keyboard, you really need to think about the names of the keys the same way you think about the days of the week. If I ask you to play an F, you shouldn't have to start at C and make your way up to an F. You should just know automatically, okay, F. We've got the group of three black keys. Okay, it's the white key just to the left of any group of three black keys. You need to know what F is on its own and not just its relationship back to C. By not making the names of the keys all second nature for you, you really run into problems down the road when you're trying to play songs and using chords and switching from one chord to another. So when you're learning how to play the piano or keyboard, please make sure that the names of the keys are second nature for you before moving on to anything else. And when you are ready to move on to what's next, I have a free ebook waiting for you. This ebook is going to show you how you can play many of your favorite pop songs in just eight days from now. So to grab that, just click on the image of the ebook in this video or click the link in the description below.